Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today, not with a regular puzzle with a brain teaser, but with more like an assembly kit or a tech puzzle, let's say. And it looks pretty cool, to be honest. It's basically a big gear and then there's a firefly connected to it, which moves its wings according to what I understand. And somehow it's here connected to this gear rotating and I don't know how this should work out, but we're gonna definitely find out. Here's an exploded view that you can see how complex this puzzle is. And if you are interested to do one of these puzzles yourself, of course, I put your link in the description where you can get those. Recommended age is 14 plus, number of parts more than 100 parts, assembly time about one hour and the degree of difficulty a two out of maximum five. So not the most difficult assembly kit, but for those kits it's of course not about the difficulty of assembly, but it is about the final result. So let's just get it out of the box. Let me get this out. Oh, and here we go. No spoiler break today necessary, I think. And it comes also with some tools and also pliers. I got my own here, so I will use for the assembly this tool here today. If you do not own any tools, you can be sure you can still do the assembly because this is this is coming with the kit. And now, now let's have a first look on the puzzle itself. By the way, when I got this puzzle, the instruction was not ready at that time. Therefore, I just have it by PDF. In the meanwhile, it should be ready. So if you also order this thing and try the assembly yourself, you can be sure that you received a printed version of the of the assembly manual. And basically, it looks like this. So this is how the assembly looks like. So a very detailed assembly kit and these steps here, I will follow to assemble this puzzle. You will not see this on screen. I will just put it here on the sides, but just that you know what this is about. Okay, so this is how the assembly looks like looks pretty detailed also in english and in chinese so now let's have a first look on the parts i mean this part here looks already amazing looks like laser cut i would assume next one here is this brass or is it also aluminum mm, i think this is also aluminum and probably most of the parts are yes they are pretty lightweight therefore definitely aluminum parts so let's see what's below of this one I like the packaging, by the way, very robust. The stand, the stand that then also includes the motor probably down here. The casted part, we got some, oh, oh, some small parts. And here we got also some, oh, I like that. Ah, oh, the wings, the wings, the dragonfly. And we got a little pinion here, wow, with a bearing. Quite a complex part for such a kit. Some additional bearings here and some small parts. We're gonna figure out later what these are for. And now, now I propose we just start with assembly step by step following the instruction. So let's see how this turns out. So even the little screws here are numbered that you can find them, which is pretty cool. Part 49, which is, oh, I directly started with the wings. Get this out, one, two of them. is finished and it looks awesome. <laughs> Let's see how to continue. Okay, I can't find a second part now right now, so I will leave this as it is. But right now I can't find it, therefore I will leave this one now open. Now I need to build like a mechanism to move the wings. Okay. 
Okay, I think this should probably work like so that this one down here goes up and down, pushing the wings like up and down. We will see later. So, okay, however, let's start. The Fireflies, oh, the Firefly is frequently losing its head, but everything else is, is ready. Let's start with the next assembly. And let's see what this is about. Twist here, it's okay. When I twist here, it's a bit stocking. Let's see. So, um, I charge it for a minute. Now, now comes the moment. Let's see what's happening okay you can see it's moving but not as fluent as I imagine so there is like a this wing is a bit slow yeah okay I think this requires some oil and also I think there might be an issue with the gears oh yes oh yes I gonna check this I gonna tune it and then I come back here we go and I think I need to loop Put some loop here on the hinge. So I don't want to wait it for to charge. It has a battery inside, but I use this one now for the rest of the video. And what I did to tune it, yeah, and just in case you assemble this yourself and struggle with this getting running smooth, um, I put some loop here. I put some loop on the hinges here below the wings and on this one now it's operating much smoother there is some play here in the gears so it means sometimes it's moving a bit but overall it runs now pretty well and another thing you need to do um some of these screws here especially those bevel gears they seem to match not perfectly and therefore um, you have to loosen these screws to give it a very slight amount of play for now there is nearly zero. Something you can do in addition is you can also put some loop here on those bevel gears. It will help them to operate a bit smoothly because in my case here, they also had some issues to run smooth and sometimes they get a bit stuck. But now with this loop, it's much better. And let's now see how it's running now. Okay, this is already much better than before as you can see. The Dragonfly is flapping with her wings and this looks just amazing. Very, very cool. A very cool idea from my point of view. The motor, I mean, you can hear it. It's definitely noticeable. From my point of view, in general, on those models, they should be paid more attention to the motor to have a quieter motor to make this run more quiet that you can leave it on because it looks, I mean, it looks insane. Also the idea, the design is absolutely great. It's a great kit from my point of view. Very tricky to assemble, especially here, those small parts, a lot of small screws and stuff. Let me know if you're interested to see also other models like this in the future. If yes, follow the link in the description and check out what they have on their website and let me know what model I should review next. Can be also an engine or whatever you like. And if you like this episode, just hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, keep on puzzling.